Bartolomeo. I major in music therapy at Temple University and will be interning at Friends Hospital uh, in uh, Philly this summer and fall. As I reflect on what the Lord has done in my life over the past four years, I am incredibly grateful for this amazing community of believers. GCC has made such a significant impact on my walk with Christ throughout college, and I am truly grateful. As I look back to freshman year, I entered college fairly weak in my faith and naive to the world. I was going through a little bit of depression, confusion, and various things at that time that I didn't fully understand. A lot of this was probably due to my lack of understanding of scripture. I would actually, um, I would ask myself hundreds of questions related to philosophy, theology, and my life in general, and I wrote these down. I found myself questioning a lot of things, even my own identity in Christ. During this time of confusion, though, the Lord was graciously with me. He led me to figure these things out on my own, in particular, whether I truly believed in scripture now that I was at college and away from home. At the very end of my first GCC, uh, GCC meetup, I remember a brother encouraging me to read the Bible, but I had no conviction to do so at that time. Instead, I began watching atheist and skeptic videos on YouTube. People like Richard Dawkins and Jacqueline Glenn were some influences. While it can be beneficial sometimes to understand other people's points of view and empathize with them, this surely led me down the wrong road, as I started to question the validity of scripture and thus my identity as a Christian. Naturally, I came to the point one day where, in my conflicted beliefs, I reluctantly thought to myself, I guess some parts of the Bible aren't true. Maybe I should consider myself an agnostic theist. It seems like uh, the Lord was waiting for me to come to this conclusion and to be honest with myself about what I believed. Once I came to this hesitant conclusion, though, the Lord came out of it quickly in his love and kindness and convicted me to start reading at least something in the Bible every day. Surely those unhealthy doubts still affect me to this day, but by the Lord's grace, I have been, giving the, um, I have been reading the Word daily and have been growing deeper in my faith and love for him. This has truly been one of the catalysts for my faith and walk with Christ over the past four years. That and being surrounded by wiser Christians than myself here at GCC. Gradually, he has been teaching me through scripture and through others what it means to um, truly be a follower of Christ and to be a man of God. In the midst of my doubts and my struggles coming into college, God replaced my confusion with peace and my depression with joy. At the start of my college years, I felt like I was holding on to Jesus by, uh, by a thread. But God has truly done miraculous things in my life, deepening my desire to know him, staying grounded in his word, and staying connected with this family of believers. My verse is a famous one, and one that I relate to in a profound way. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. Thank you.